Hello everybody, I am the Vision of Chaos and welcome back, finally, to another episode of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. It seems like it's been forever, like five years since I last recorded this episode. We are finally going to move into a new area of this game that is opened up to us in this year and it's the only area that's new to us in this year and it's the last new area of this game except for the last two areas of this game where we can actually go to and this is called the Lenari Desert and that is where we are going towards the desert area get on to the dark not walk beside the dark I said get on to the dark man <laughs> I've been gone so long that I don't even know how to walk anymore. We're going to Luda. Yes, that is where we are headed. In fact, well, that's the first desert on Lunar Island where Luda lies. Yes, and that's where we are headed, sir. If you bring me a cactus flower from there, I'll give you a big discount. Well, that's not really something that I will do, but you can do it if you bring him a, indeed a cactus flower. He will give you a discount. And eventually, if you sail long enough with those two discounts that you've already gotten, one from uh, the item from Mount Kilanda and one from the item from this one, he will eventually give you a boat pass, which you can sail for free. But we won't be playing this game nearly long enough for that to happen. At least I hope not. So, with Luda, there's actually comes up a reason where we why we bring, um, why I've chosen the Selkies basically. And one of the many reasons why I've chosen the Selkies, of course, it's been proven useful time and time again, is this uh, Lunar Desert of this Luda is a city of Selkies. And all these Selkies, if you talk to them as any other character except for a Selkie, they will pickpocket you and they will steal all your money. And that is basically why I am sulky, so that is prevented, so they don't steal my money. Granted, they don't steal a lot of money from you, but they steal some money. And if you talk to every NPC, each of the NPCs will actually um, steal money from you. But how have you guys been? Have you been waiting for this episode? I highly doubt that. But, you yeah, know, it's, it's really weird to you know get back into this game after being away for so long i did need to break though i felt tired of this game and i really didn't want to play this game anymore so the the the, the break was very necessary for me at least that is uh what should we do first of all hello elder there's no place for our titles i wouldn't say if i here with you if i were you here is the uh, the item if you want of the village, I don't really care. Like I said, in every village there is a, an item. Although I don't really think that I've covered every item in every village. Not that it really matters. You can look for them yourself if you really want to. Ah, uh, this... I heard some travelers mention a Black Knight a while back. It was quite some time ago, actually. I doubt you could beat such a man. You'll need to train hard if you don't want to lose. We see we suck us don't ever have to win, we just make sure we never lose. That gives you a bit of an idea of what kind of city this actually is. Selkies make sure they never lose, well... If you talk to this kid over here, you can do a little jumping minigame. Where you just push the buttons in according to what he says. However, you can, you can accord, uh, get some items. However, you need at least 500 points to get an item and at least 2000 points in order to get a useful item and I'm not going to sit here mashing the buttons like 500 times correctly in order to get an item now this girl over here if you talk to her twice she actually uh, sells you some things if you want if you're interested to in things or you can sell things to her if you need money um, over this way, I believe, is the exit if you want to get get out of here, but we're not going to do that yet. Uh, this man sells you designs if you talk to him twice. That is, you know, for weapon creation and such, you need designs. I forgot what I was doing. I wonder why boys are so eager to grow up. I guess that's why they're always so childish. And when we grew up, we put away childish things, even the desire to be very grown up. 
right? Isn't that the quote? They say the circus came from the sea, and to the sea we will someday return. That is actually a little bit of a reference to the mytholo mythological creatures of Selkies, which are actually sea creatures, kind of like uh, sirens and uh, mermaids, where they, they came from the sea, basically like mermaids. If you go back to the stand, you can see there's a door here, and you can waltz on in! Into the Moogle Nest and get another... Get another mug stamp. And if you actually look at my stamp card, you will see that I'm actually missing uh, two stamps on my card. Wait, am I missing two stamps? Oh no, I'm missing four. Yeah, two stamps on my card. Which one is from uh, Port. No, T from Tida, which is the broken down village, and the other one is from Rubana to Ra. So basically, I'm going to get those uh, off screen, or no, I'm going to s sh show them on screen, but I'm not going to do those areas. I'm just going to show them where they are in general and get them and finish the area by myself and not record the entire area all over again. Because that would be redundant! Because not, not, nothing really big change. There aren't, there aren't really any big changes in the second year. For most areas. Most areas don't really change all that much. Which is why I'm voted against doing all the uh, the changes and showing off all the all the areas and all the content. That and I want to be done with this game. But let's get into the Lunari Desert. dream was to find a great treasure hidden in the desert. Everyone burst into laughter and told him there was no such thing. The moment I saw this place, I felt his dream would surely come true. The desert glittered like a sea of jewels under that shimmering sun. The Lenori Desert, and I'm actually going to have to admit, I this, I this is one of the areas which I never finished, like Saddle Fishing Cave, is one one of the areas also that I never finished. So, because I tend to get lost there, and I tend to tend to get lost here as well. So, uh, forgive me if I tend to get lost here, and I will show off most of the things that you can get here. But I'm going to go towards this area and maybe cut some things. Uh, here and there. Actually, speaking of that um, treasure, if you look at the intro a little bit more closely, the intro will give you some hints on how to get that treasure, and there's a certain other character that we've already met who gives us hints on how to get that treasure as well. But since we haven't gotten all the hints to get the treasure yet, I'm not going to get this treasure right now because I want to see story events unfold in order to get uh, the treasure of the desert basically and how and see how you figure out the how to get the, the, the treasure of the desert but before we move on as you saw there I had uh, four inventory slots I had already mentioned it before that if you have four inventory slots, that's basically the inventory slots you need in order to uh, end this game. And we're very close to the end, it's like uh, we're only required uh, to go another year basically, and after this year we can basically move the events in such a way that we can basically go to the end of the, air the, end of the, uh, the game. But I'm not going to do that yet. But in this year, this is the only area that I will show off in this year, because it's the only new area that we are able to go, and the area that we need to go in order to progress is not available to us in, in this year, because there's a certain element we need which we can get.
and I almost, you know, never mind. I'm going to cut out most of these battles uh, with the giant things, which are, I believe they're called zoo Zeus. But yeah, I'm going to cut out most of the battle with the giant bird things, which are here. They are, they are called Zeus, motherfucker, Zeus. No, they're called Zoo, Zoo, a Zoo, not a Zool, but I just wanted to do the reference. Speaking of Zoo, here's one right now. And you need Blizzard, or no, gra not Blizzard, Gravity in order to... <laughs> I read Blizzard, but... You need Gravity in order to take this thing down. And just attack it. And it will attack you, and it is one annoying motherfucker to, to, to take down, because it has many hits. And because it's Zool, motherfucker, Zool! No, <laughs> it's not Zool. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like making that reference. That's uh, the nostalgia critic for anyone who doesn't know. But yeah, as you can see, that's how much hits they take. They take like, uh, what is that? Uh, three, three hits, that is. So it's nine hits they take? Nine, nine hits they take. Which, oh no, it's like, no, wait. Two, 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 it's twelve hits it, that they take. Which is still a lot, a lot of hits. <laughs> man, are you tired, man? That Koopa gets tired real fast, man. If you, it, I really recommend you, if you, um, before coming into this area, that you visit a Moogle house at the, at the other thing. And, uh, basically, what you do is, um, trim his hair. Trim his hair. That's what I suggest you do. Uh, because he's going to complain a lot, and I mean a lot, along the way about him being tired a lot, because this area is hot, and if you don't trim his hair, he will get hot a lot. Hot Moogle on, on Moogle action! Oh. What was that? Is it a little frame scape there? I'm sorry, I'm just going to take these idiots down, one by one. And I'm going to not care about... A care in the world because there are things in this world that you shouldn't care about like this cactar over here which is the standard Final Fantasy enemy which is like one of the many Final Fantasy enemies that we've encountered so far like most of the en these enemies are pretty standard in for Final Fantasy uh, sakes and the piece of nuclear clockwork Oh yeah, if, if you are going to craft some things, I do suggest you either picking up um, the element of this area, which is uh, the earth element, which is actually to the left from here, uh, so you don't get poisoned, but before you move towards the end of the area in this game, I suggest you picking up something like a poison charm or something like that, something that prevents you from being poisoned, because that is the major status ailment that you're going to run into in the final area of the game. It's poison. And if you if you don't want to run around with a clear stone through the entire thing, I suggest you get something that... Or you don't want to be damaged through the entire thing, I suggest you, uh, you take a, a poison charm with you. Which I actually don't know how to get, but whatever. Maybe I will uh, figure that out off screen. But just we're going to just going to um, go around in this area and uh, do some things. Actually, if you go to the left here in that thing there, before we go any further, if you go in there, that is where the boss is. That will lead you to the boss area. So if you want uh, to go to the boss now, I suggest you. Uh, visit there and that is where you need to go in order to progress, but I'm going to continue on this episode Like nothing ever happened and there's something here something very odd. This is one of the many things that we've encountered are pretty odd And if you wa watch the cutscene in the beginning you see you've seen all the odd things are in here in this desert And you will encounter them on many occasions Like the scorpions you will also encounter them on many occasions Oh, attack. Oh, it's another zoo. Let's take care of him, shall we? 
These idiots are so annoying, I tell you. You just take so many hits to kill. Why did you t take less hits to kill? I don't get that. Maybe because all my hits connected that time, but usually I have to do three charge attacks in order to kill you, and th this time you you take two, which I don't really understand. Uh, another, another scorpion. So many scorpions! And you, you Zool, motherfucker Zool, die, motherfucker, die. I'm going to just k kill you. Yes, there. And we get a plume of phoenix down, which you are like a phoenix or something. Why is this cactus here? There's nothing there? No, apparently not. I just maybe thought, you know, the... That the cactus would mean anything, but yeah, they do, they do. Lightning brings the cactus pain, after all. <laughs> then I just... nah, never mind. These things are really, really weird. This place seems to be special. There's another scorpion here. Would this be... in the later years would be a lightning scorpion? I wonder. Like a thunder scorpion or something? That is something that I wonder. Let's take out another zoo! Another zoo, motherfucker. And we're actually almost close to where uh, the Moogle Nest is. And that's the only reason why I'm do still doing this, is to show off where the Moogle Nest is. Basically, when you go to the start uh, area, just go continue on and then go left. And when you go can go left. Just go up here. Oh man, I'm already starting out with things to talk about. Maybe that's why the reason, mostly the reason why I uh, stopped let's playing this is because I ran out of things to talk about about this game. Because there isn't really that much to talk about at, with this game. But you know, that's th how things go. You have to keep up the commentary yourself. And I wasn't really feeling it uh, this game anymore, so that's. But mostly the reason why I didn't, you know, want to continue this game anymore. But you know, we're close up to the end, and there are some things that I need to show off still, like where those last Google nests are that we need to capture and uh, capture. Gotta catch them all, Pokémon. Now, uh, these items, man. There's so many items, like a Mithril armor, and I'm going to craft some armor and such. But you need. Uh, strength and defense and such Bef because we're coming up like I said again to the final areas of this game uh, you're tired again man that happens so many times not that I'm going to spend my time you know trimming his hair I would rather you know just carry the chalice instead of wasting my time you know uh, because even if I trim his hair he will still get tired and I'm nonetheless he will get tired like less often but he will still get tired so it's no r no real benefit to me doing uh, doing this oh you drop money it's all about the money and actually right we're here here's the mobile nest basically this, this area even though it seems complicated it really isn't there's a giant area to the right, and there's a giant area, and there's this area to the left. And uh, it's a star band, there's another heart. Which I don't know if he gets, but I don't think we get it. Hello, sir. Uh, no, I don't, I didn't want to do that. I want to talk to the Moogle behind you. Yes, there you are. As you can see, we have another set, which means we have another level of the minigame. <laughs> that other one is probably... The, 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 the last one above is probably in Tita, and uh, the other one are in the last three, two areas of the game. And of course, uh, Rubana Terra, which I still have to show off at some point. And I ra raged, really raged in Rubana Terra. Because that doing that Moogle nest on your own is nearly impossible. 
and it's so infuriating to do. <laughs> I will show it off. I actually, that is also one of the reasons why I quit. I basically rage quit this game. <laughs> and I will show that off at some point. But we're almost done with this area actually. Uh, there's something uh, that I still need to show off. There's that chest over there. And after that we're going to just end off this episode. And in the next episode I'm going to go towards the ant... I almost spoiled what the ball was, it's the ant lion. We're going towards the ant lion. Since I almost spoiled it already, we're going this, the, the boss of this area is the ant lion. I don't know if you know this already. Probably not, but I'm sick, really sick of fighting the same enemies over and over again. And we got a design for a master weapon, I believe is what we have actually. I wouldn't actually know the tier class of these weapons, which is something that's really a little bit annoying about this game. Is that we don't really know. If you go back here, you eventually meet up uh, to get back to the beginning area. So yeah. I'm actually going to uh, probably end it off here, and I will see you again in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.